this woman right here. Hi, hi today everybody. Hi, I was going to show you three ways to make candle wicks. And I was going to also show you at the end how they burn. So make sure you watch all the way to the end and I'll show you how the candle wicks are burning each different type. So you can decide which way would work best for you. So what you're going to need is some of this kind of cotton string or any kind of cotton string that you have. I have this laying around. And you're going to need some borax. You can get this usually anywhere. I got it from Walmart. And you're going to need some regular salt. Okay, this is what you need for the first method. Alright, so let's do it. Okay, first we're going to heat up a cup of water. Alright, you need to put the two tablespoons of borax in your water. And one tablespoon of salt. Just mix this up until it's completely dissolved and the water is almost to a boil. And my water is ready and you can see there's no borax left. It's all the way dissolved so it's ready. So I went ahead and cut my string. Now you should not cut your wicks any longer than one foot if you're not sure what size you're going to need. If you do know what size, go ahead and measure them out. And then we just leave them in the solution here. Okay, now we're gonna just leave them in this solution for 24 hours. And we'll get back to it when it's ready. All right, our cotton wicks have sat for their amount of time and they're ready. You can see that. You can see this little like crystallizing formed on the strings. That's perfectly normal. And if it didn't happen, that's also perfectly normal. So don't worry if you don't have crystallizing on your strings here. Okay, we're gonna take them out of the solution. And untangle them a bit. Well, now you can just separate them and um, we're gonna just brush off the extra crystals. We don't really need that on them. So just separate your wicks. That's what it looks like. I just kind of rub off the extra crystallization. Okay, I separated my wicks and I took the extra crystals off. Now what you want to do is let them dry. And you could let them dry for about 24 hours or to speed up the process, what I like to do is use the hair dryer and just dry them for a few minutes with the hair dryer. Okay, our wicks are dry. Now at this point, there's a couple things that you can do. You can go ahead and use them just like this. There's perfect wick is ready and depending on type of candle you have maybe you need a different kind of wick so I like to take a few of them together and just to make a stronger wick you can braid them together so same and we just braid them just take three of the wicks and braid them together for a have a stronger long lasting burn to your candle. Alright, this is how it looks, the braided one. So you can go ahead and cut that to size and use this in your candle. Now for the last one, we're going to do this plain ones here that have been in the solution. And they're fine just like this, but if you want to give them a little bit extra strength, you can also do this. I melted some wax and you're just going to dip your string in the wax. And then you can lay those out to dry. And that's it. So let's let those cool off and dry up. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a candle wicks using wood. Now, you can use balsam wood that you can get at the craft store. Or you can use these popsicle sticks, which was much easier to find. Whatever you have, it'll, both will work well. So what you need is a bucket that you can lay them flat on the ground of the bucket completely and then we're gonna soak them in olive oil and olive oil burns really clean so that's what you want to use so we're just gonna soak them in the oil here for about 30 minutes at least more is better but at least 30 minutes 
Okay, our popsicles have sat for the amount of time. And now we need to just take them off. And what you want to do is squeeze them a little bit so that they don't be oily when you're touching them. See how it's coming off on the napkin? So you want to keep squeezing it a little bit so it doesn't come off anymore. And that's when it'll be ready. You don't have to worry you're taking too much off because it's soaked into the wood now. Okay, so that's it. You want it to be not too greasy to the touch and then that's how you know it's ready. Okay, they look ready. Next step is test these babies out. So we're going to put them in a candle and I'll light them for you and can see how well they burn. Okay, I got this old egg carton and I thought it's perfect for a little experiment test of these candles. So I'm just going to cut a few out. There we go. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put each wick in each tester here. And I'm going to use this uh, stick to prop the wicks up against so they can stay in the middle of my candle. Okay, there we go. I'm going to let them cool off right there and then we'll check them out. Okay, at this point you can put your uh, wooden wick on a candle tab. But since I'm just doing this for experiment to show you, I'm not going to be using one. Okay, here are my three types of candles in the dark to show you how they light. Okay, there you have all three kind of wicks. This is a Lorax candle. And this is the wax covered. And this is the wood candle. Alright, let me know which one you try. Go ahead, like and subscribe if you like this video. And leave a comment below.